Yay, Matt? Yay, Matt! All right, good job. Welcome, Friday students. Please write the following. TGIF. <laughs> TGIF, for sure. Please write the following four triangles. One, two, three, four. Four triangles. Do we have them drawn? It's fun for me. Okay. We're going to go over the rules for isosceles triangles, spelled isosceles. And what is an isosceles triangle? Yes. An isosceles triangle is a triangle that has a minimum of two equal sides. Okay. A minimum of two congruent sides. And what else? Angle. 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 What about angles? Congruent angles. How many? Two. Two, two or three. more. Three. That's right. That's right. So, at least two congruent sides and at least two congruent angles. So, these sides are congruent. So, which angles would be congruent then? Top, left, right. Left and right. Left and right. Can you explain? Sir! Not really. You can't explain it? Okay. Can I ask something? Because the form equal. Sorry? Because the two sides are parallel. I mean, um, equal, they form equal. Okay, you're on the right track. All right. If these are the two congruent sides, then the way that the geometry books say it is that the angles opposite those sides are also congruent. All right? Angles opposite. Think of it like someone holding a flashlight here and shining it on this wall. So this angle and this side are opposite. This angle and this side are opposite. All right, so let's flip it up, flip it up a bit. If these two, which are the angles same. are congruent now? The top one. <laughs> top one and the left one. Left, left one. Uh, Good. Uh, Here we have two congruent uh, angles. Do we have two congruent one. angles? Which two sides? <laughs> left one. Left one. And the left one. And the bottom one, opposite the angles. And here we have two congruent angles, which... The right one and the bottom one. Right one and the bottom one, just like this. Okay? So those are the major rules. If you get those rules, then we're ready to go on with right here. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on. Okay. And uh, you can see in your sheet in front of you... Wait, what was the last one? You have this. What was the fourth triangle? It was just like the one next to it there. Okay, you can see in your sheets in front of you, they're saying that if AC is the same as AD, what are two congruent angles? If side AC is congruent to side AD, what are two congruent angles? And I'm going to actually redraw it. Feel free to do that too. Here's AC. Here's AD. And these two are the same. And now, just like before, which two angles are the same? Yes. Um, a and B, or A and C. Which, so it's saying, if these two sides are the same, which two angles are the same? Angle, angle A and C. No, angle A and C are not opposite. Angle A and angle B. C and B, sorry. These two, right? Yeah. Why? Why, because they are opposite the congruent sides. What angle is opposite this, miss? Angle D. D is opposite. And what angle is opposite AD? Angle C. Angle C, isn't it? Yeah, but it aren't the, where the two congruent lines meet at angle A? They do meet at angle A, but angle A is not congruent to anything. Okay. The congruent angles are opposite the congruent sides. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we come over here. And would we able to say angle D and angle C here? Yeah. Angle C. Yeah. No? Yeah. No. 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 Angle D is cool because, you know, it's oh, no angle, angle C, C is, is, is So what would you say? You would have to say angle B, C, E. Like no, B, C, it's not B, C, E. C, A, C, D. A, C, D is right. So angle A, C, D congruent to angle D. Questions on that? Okay, you guys got to really increase the 
increase the level of focus because it's going to get harder and harder, okay? okay. But <laughs> the good news is it's just the same rule. Ask the question for the class. Why do you have to say angle ACD again? Because which C are we talking about? Oh, you're talking about that triangle. You just pulled it out. Yeah, yeah, there no, you no, go. Never mind. We pulled it out. All right, so let's do the next one. This is coming down. All right. Volunteer to say what number two is asking if. Yeah, go ahead. If segment BE is congruent to segment BC, name two congruent angles. Okay, if BC is congruent to BE, I'm going to redraw that. Is that it right there? B, C, E. And if B, C is congruent to B, E, name two congruent angles. Yes? Angle E and, and angle C. Okay, angle E and angle C here, that works. So we're gonna be angle but now over here, we need to be more specific with three letters. So, you wanna try? Um, yeah. Go ahead. Angle B, E, C. B E C, yes, that's here. And, and B C E. Sorry? B C E. B C E. Good job. Okay. B E C and B C E. Got that? Beck. Beck and Bakken. Or, you know, before Common Era. Okay, that's good. Two mo! Two mo! Volunteer to read number two. If, yes, please. If angle EBA is congruent to EAB, name two congruence angles. Okay, now let's, let's do it in the picture itself. If angle EBA is congruent to EAB, name two congruent segments. Yeah, finish it up. Um, segment BE and segment AE. Yes and yes. Lovely. Last one for? Could you say segment AE and BA? No, because BA is Are not opposite. Angle. Right, good question. Fair enough. Can you maybe read number four for us, please? If angle? Uh, if angle CED is congruent to angle CDE, name okay. two congruent segments. So you said if angle CED, if this angle <laughs> is the same as CDE, this angle, which two segments would be the same? Do you think you can answer it too? Uh, oh. Namaste. A, uh, angle A, C, and A, C. That is from yoga. A, C, but A is not in, the, in that mean, triangle. E, C. E, C, good. E, C, and? Uh, C, D. Good job. Okay. Got it. Questions on that? No. All right, last image is here. Last image is here. Sounds like a dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>